to see the two today's video i'm going to change it quick and come up to video today's video i want to talk about um chris don rock that's a blood sacrifice that went wrong yes chris don rock that that's a blood sacrifice that went wrong so check this shit out right so apparently it's a situation where chris don rock had got a gun poured out on her because she was in the middle of a situation and I know a lot of people gonna say, come on now, it's in the middle of a situation. And she not telling the whole story. So, you know, it's bits and pieces of the story being told. But basically she was saying that um some dude had pulled a gun out, he was about to shoot her, shoot some other nigga that was a YouTuber, some shit like that. Or something that she double booked with two different YouTubers shooting the same exact content, they didn't like it, they was about to shoot each other and shit like that. Don't that sound like a setup? Don't that sound like a setup? And even if it's not a setup, why are you putting yourself in situations to get your life taken? That's why people believe in blood sacrifices right there. You motherfuckers do stupid shit to put yourself in a situation to make it seem like you got blood sacrifice. And don't get me wrong, Chris Town Rock. You know what I mean? She could potentially be a blood sacrifice that's coming up. Not saying that I would like that or nothing like that, but come on. Blueface discover her. Blueface and Rock on Hunter discover her. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, they probably on that build to kill shit. You feel me? Like, they build you up. Then they kill you. You feel what I'm saying? So um, that's probably what the situation is. You know, it's a deal to kill. And basically, what happens is, like I was saying, that um, like what I was saying about with the satanic energy and shit, is that um, these motherfuckers are put, like, they're put basically like the demonic energy in the air, and then basically lay out the blueprint or set up a scenario or a situation for that certain person to be blood sacrificed. Now, the situation probably didn't unfold like that because it's probably not her turn to go. You see what I'm saying? But it's uh they usually do rituals by the numbers, Jamafia, you see what I'm saying? And basically it's just if you just look at any situation with an artist that they like took, they all got set up and put in a situation where it was a fluky situation. Like for example, Rest in peace to Young Dolph. When Young Dolph first um, got his car shot up, he was in, well, no, I think he first got his car shot up in L.A., but I think the second time, I think, or it could be the first, I'm not sure, but one of the first times when he first got his, uh, when Young Dolph got his car shot up, they shot the 100 shots at his car, but it was bulletproof, so they missed every shot. I think it was Black Youngster who did it or some shit like that. And um, basically, but look at that. That was like a scenario, like a setup for him to lose his life because it's like, y'all know y'all at odds with each other. You see what I'm saying? Why y'all both going to the same show? Why y'all performing the same show? They could have like got double booked. You see what I'm saying? So it's just like little weird shit like that. The motherfuckers just, you know what I'm saying? Put you in these certain situations for this shit to happen. But, you know, she went live at this situation and kind of fake explained the story and shit like that. But, um, yeah, man, because you got to think about it. Blue face and them, some niggas need to sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? And Rock 100, Rock 100 is one of them handlers. He just play the game. You know what I'm saying? Because you got to remember, Rock 100 been in this shit for a while. You know what I'm saying? So you can say whatever you want about Rock 100. And I ain't going to lie, Rock 100 do be acting like a CIA agent sometimes. You know what I mean? FBI, he could be, probably not. I don't know. But Rock 100 do be saying some real shit, though. I ain't going to lie. But he does play the game. He's in the industry. He plays the game. And, you know, like I said, Krishan was homeless. They found her. They broke her up. She blew up bigger than what they thought she was going to do. And, you know what I'm saying? She gets to a certain number. Shit, she's supposed to be dead, but she is alive. And that's what just pretty much happens to every artist, bro. To every artist. And I know a lot of people going to say, okay, well, give me an artist. I'll give you one. I'll give you Mac Miller. He ain't black. He ain't no favorite to him or nothing like that. I fuck with anybody that can rap. They got their own style. Mac Miller had his own fucking style. You know, fuck if he white. That nigga was cold, though. He's one of the coldest black rappers ever. And he so-called died from a drug overdose. No, man. Somebody did him some fake fucking pills and he killed him. He came from the Insectilians, a.k.a. the Hollywood Whackers. That's what's up. Man, break the damn up. More videos coming soon. Man. I'm going to do promotion on